G'day and welcome back to our Soviet Triumph campaign. It's going well at the moment. French Commune has accepted our non-aggression pact. Good. Um, is there anything else we need to do with them? We've guaranteed them. We've done basically everything. They just can't join our faction because they're a major nation and nobody's at war. So that should hold Germany back pretty significantly if they're not going to attack Poland because they're a puppet and they're not going to attack French because we're guaranteeing them. And they've got no reason to attack Belgium or the Netherlands. They might try and head up through Scandinavia. Or down through Hungary, Yugoslavia. We'll see. In the meantime, world tension keeps coming down. Japan's actually been the worst. Alright, SU-76 is this one, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, next up, medium tanks we can go ahead and do. Although, we'd want to wait until next month, so this minus 100% switches to a... 50% research time thing, I think. Alright, what else? 39, we've already started doing all them. <clears throat> Don't care about resource gain yet. I guess we could do radar. Yeah. Uh, land doctrine. Diversify the program. Okay. That was down there, so get our extra research. Um, land doctrine. We want to go for supply grace, absolutely. And... Minus 10% for our supply. Two days time. I'll pick the next thing. Alright, go check on our tanks in China. Uh, yeah. 330 days. We'll do it for now though. Alright, we've cut off his supply, so he won't last long at all. The Chinese are still trying to take care of him out here. He's got an air base, shouldn't be giving him supply, hopefully. Ooh, and look at this push forward. Well done, China. Broken Japan's back on the mainland. Let's grab our eight. Give them an order to come and take Korea. When you're ready. All right, these four are still trying to push in. Let's make sure all of them are taking part. A bit of a glitchy dance thing going on. Blame the Chinese for that. Now it's looking better. Okay, we'll try that again. Good. Alright, they knocked them out. Now they have. Alright, Japanese are getting overrun all over the place, so their actual number of troops should be pretty low. Had a couple of encirclements that took out more than 10. I think we need to protect this back line. Chinese are pushing forward well enough. We'll just finish off these encirclements, I think. Alright, encirclement on him. Good, push up here. Two encirclements, working on a third one over there. Alright, concentrated industry is now 39, so we're looking good there. We don't want to worry about any of them. Oh, what was the next one? The medium armour. Uh, yes, we are going to grab this and we're going to push down towards the uh, modern tanks. Modern Russian armour could only be a good thing for us, couldn't it? Alright, where are the other two? Down there. Alright, you know what? You can finish your job. Widen this. As much as I'd love to take some of this land for ourselves by declaring on Japan, I'd rather not go to war with the Allies. Uh, the Axis, his allies. Alright, no more landings. Nope, just this one. They're now encircled. And looks like all four are in there. This guy's getting dangerously undersupplied. I did change some of the templates during the break, so we added an extra tank to these tank divisions. We don't have enough to actually produce them. So that's why support equipment and everything's disappeared. Added the uh, support, which takes support equipment and motorised, added them into the infantry. Toad artillery is not too bad yet. Alright, dead. So these four tanks, where are we going to send them? 
thinking probably over here to do this. The Germans claim Mamel. What is this battle? With them trying to do stuff. Hmm, that's not going to go well. They are extremely defensive there. Try and help on that one. Chinese will come up here and do most of it for us. Alright, advanced machine tools. So we're doing good. That is too far ahead of time. And doctrine support battalions. They are in 39 as well. Right. Got a bonus on this, so let's push that out in 34 days. Can't pull out of that battle for some reason. Okay, so the eight have all come down this side. Left a couple of ins, well, left one encirclement behind for them to take care of. We have two troops, there we go. Just go and make sure they get done. We could help cut them off here so that these guys all run out. It was weird destroying the country that we have our battle plans set up against when we're not actually at war with them. Okay, we need to get down here. Why is this so bad? Should be able to win quite easily. Don't know why the numbers are showing so low. Alright, so we've got two extra research slots unlocked. Next, we could just push for political power. I don't think we need to use it for anything just yet. So this is impossible to get because we'd have to get that. Partisan suppression, doesn't matter. Aviation cult gives us some research bonuses, so we might need to do that to our fighters. Okay, this is looking like a slaughter. Right, A32s. A34s, we get no ahead of time bonus because of our German corporation. And... Alright, artillery, because I always forget. Interwar artillery. Hmm. Let's grab... All right, push here, cut them off. These four need to do this. What are we attacking into there? Is that plains? It is. All right, so we're gonna start hitting the mountains again, taking care of most of the plains. More like the Chinese have. Hmm. I wonder if our volunteers can do transport missions using our navy for naval invasions. Because we could find out soon. All right, there goes maintenance. Uh, 42 for the next. No, we'll go for better entrenchment because we'll probably be at war with Germany this year. We'll wait for them to start it, I think. Do like the uh, German Sea Lion campaign. We waited until we were absolutely sure we'd win and then just steamrolled. 93. Alright, all our arrows keep popping around because we keep taking stuff. So, we should probably grab our Japanese army and reset them again. While oh, we still have a line. <laughs> All right, and you'll do something. So they're gonna split our army in half once they take that. Look at all the Chinese troops. How does China lose this war against Japan? Jesus. All right, encirclements, two there, one there. We'll do a lot of damage now.
help the Chinese out. The faster we do this, the faster they can push on the other areas. So the Japanese are moving troops north from Korea. And the Chinese have split them off. Let's wonder what China will take from Japan if they actually win this war. Because we won't actually be in the peace deal because we're not supposed to be in the war. Alright, they are all still involved in this. Don't know how he's holding on so well in there. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Czechoslovakia. Our border is still right though, so that's okay. Zog submits to Italy, so Italy gets that. Albania. Our tanks really need resupply. We might need to just make this the last of the new tanks to come out. Okay, these eight coming in here. River crossing penalty is unfortunate, but that's the one they're winning more easily. And they actually overran the other one first. Okay. We'll take that. Let's shorten this line down to here. Let's actually reset this because I'm not sure that we have the right line for their attack plan. So from these two provinces. They need to push to these five provinces and do it when you're ready. Do a strategic redeployment from right next to it. Alright, we're in the 90s. Now he's really dropping. Good. Alright, that's done. So these four we will bring here. They will take these two, and they'll move... Mm, yeah, they can do this side. Just go when you're ready. Oh, we're looking good. He's a seasoned veteran now. He's already got progress to the next level. Didn't know there was a level after seasoned. Okay. Expert level. Expert level tanks would be freaking awesome. Aren't we taking... No, it was one of the... Um, Support companies reduces loss to experience. So we'll throw them on the tank divisions. Hmm. Hydro support. Alright, how are our civilian factories coming? We've got 30, uh, 30, 60, 72 now. They're coming along nicely. Let's go for some women in aviation. I've no idea what that rule change will actually do. I guess we'll find out. It's May of 39. Uh, pull a guy off to take Pyongyang. This guy doesn't seem to want to do anything, so he can come down and come around. Now this guy is automatically advancing. Alright, let's cut off their supply. I guess we're just going to keep marching down if he's going to have no opposition down here. Something like that. With this guy coming down the other direction. And meeting him to attack that guy. He's trying to attack our tanks because he can see what's going to happen to him. And here it goes. Alright, push in. Other tanks are pushing up through the mountains. Who says tanks can't do mountains, right? So he's up to 11. Which one is he? He's the one way up in the mountains. Advance! Alright, encirclement. Get in on the battle. Done. Chinese are coming down to help out. This is not going to go well. Let's pull off there. 
Let's try and encircle them and come back. Ooh, there's a few guys up there. They have low organization. Right, we'll go take the city now before the Chinese can. Maybe. Alright, it's going easily. Got a tank here to kill them. And the Chinese are doing well on this side. Where are our other tanks? Eight down there, four up here. Alright, they're pushing in. This guy needs to advance. And this guy is failing to advance. Go into... well, it's still mountains. Let's come up here, go into the plains. And attack into the hills is better than attacking into mountains. Okay, coming down to meet. We'll come up to meet them in the middle. Battle plans with no units. True. Molotov Ribbentrop Act. That uh, Italy's in the Axis. Alright. So, what does this do? While the pact is in effect, the closed economy trade policy will be unavailable. But we want that. The war with Germany focus will be unavailable for two years. We probably want that as well. We gain a claim on all of that stuff. So what is this about? Non-aggression pact between two nations. The treaty will greatly increase our mutual trade. Additional secret protocol suggests the division of Eastern Europe into German and Soviet spheres. While the fascists in Berlin may not be trustworthy. Uh, it has to do with Finland, Baltic states and Romania without fear of their interference. Eastern territories of Poland will also befall us in the event of a Polish collapse. Well, they're already ours. So, I assume those claims are all in Poland. Germany's opinion of us would come up. We lose political power. That's fine. We reject the pact. We're still gaining political power while we're working on Romania, Bulgaria, and Swedish communism. Now, this eight are the ones down there. Right, so the four up here. We would like to get to come back, finish this off. What are the Chinese doing it for us? So, let's create another front. Somewhere up there. Right, and this 8 should be just doing this as they can. Can't believe how wealth has gone. I was sure we were just going to be holding back the um, Japanese for a while and China would end up losing. So the other thing we should do is now try and make China communist. Sure. Get them started. It'll balance out. We don't need any more for a while anyway. Push them back. Keep advancing. You buddy, keep advancing. Alright, this tank is doing that. This tank is doing nothing help the Chinese lads out there. Alright, let's just grab all eight. Push to the center. It's the hardest battle there. It looked like it was going to be the easiest. Alright, a lot of Japanese soldiers in the mountains falling back. I think they'll all fall back into this one. Women in Aviation. Next up, we could probably do with some political power, but adding infrastructure, research bonus for Air Doctrine, or Project 21 and Sovietsky Soyuz in the Navy. Um, Air Doctrine, I guess. Infrastructure probably would have been most useful to us. But eight tanks are about to be freed up, so let's throw them onto this line and just tell them to go ahead and conquer. Go for it. Alright, engineering company is for entrenchment. Next up, better recon. Or, where is it? Better field hospitals. I think we're going to be pushing that whenever we can. Okay. Out of curiosity, can we do naval invasions with these guys? From 
here. We would want to take all of this, I think. Probably going to lose all our guys if we try this. Under five provinces. Actually spread them over eight. Well, I guess somebody would be guaranteed to do well if we did that. Um, probably lose some tanks. This is not a valid province for the invasion. It should be. I'm saying that because the Chinese have to have naval supremacy. I assume that would be the deal. It's actually East China Sea down there. So let's grab these guys and expand them. Siege Japan and East China Sea. See if that's the reason it wouldn't be acceptable. Hmm, not sure. Let's put them on hold. We'll cancel this. Put them on hold. Oh, we can assign them. Oh, that'll be interesting. If we can use our naval supremacy in the war that we're not involved in. Come the boats. And looks like we can actually do it. Need more convoys. Crap. Alright. We need to go convoys. Top priority. Everything we've got. Go for it. One per week. That'll be a while then. Alright, T-34s. Uh, 1943. That'll take two years. Do we have anything else we want to push through? Land Doctrine, we are going to be stuck. Support Battalions, we do want to do. Alright. And it is 39. So, I guess we're going to push through the next weapons. So we need 19 more convoys to be allowed to do it. Alright, what's the production rate? One per week. Hmm. Really just need more. Well, while we're waiting for that, these guys can wander off doing other things. Well, at the same time, the Japanese have folded, so we don't have to worry about that. We just do it with these four. Alright, this will just reduce the amount of attrition they're going to suffer. And trying to get this guy seasoned is a plus 50. Holy crap, if we get a bunch of seasoned tanks before we declare war on Germany, that'd be amazing. Alright, let's grab the uh, guys over here. Just cancel their orders. And just stand where they are. Obviously don't need a preparation of bonus against China. Although if China joins the Allies and we go to war with them, I'll be really angry. Alright, pocket defence. Have supply reduction, supply grace up. Next up, leg infantry, organisation and more entrenchment. Go. Okay, four troops. Finish down there. So we're just going to try and roll up the line. Hand it all over to China. Then the war won't be over. We actually have to invade Japan to finish the war. Although, do volunteers have access through... <laughs> can't get volunteers through our own land. What if we offer them access? Based reluctance to let our army go through our land to attack their enemies. Makes perfect sense. Okay, that's done. So, China is Chinese. Done another landing. I guess we will go help with that. Something like that. Go when you arrive. Alright, almost gotten all the Japanese out of China. These eight will be ready when we have the convoys. Otherwise, two weeks. Yeah, convoy problems. 
German-Soviet war. Holy crap. That's not what we want to see. Germany just declared war on Poland. So I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, we will see if we can hold the Germans back. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And hope to see you again soon. See you later.